Good morning, class. How are y'all today? Good. Good. Today we're going to be learning about abbreviations. So to start off, I want y'all to each get out a piece of paper and brainstorm as many abbreviations as y'all can. I'm going to give y'all two minutes and then we're going to group back together. Alrighty, it's been two minutes, so I want y'all to get with a partner and I want y'all to collaborate y'all's lists with one another and then we'll come back in about two to three minutes and we'll see what y'all got. All right, so to start off our lesson on abbreviations today, we're going to go through some guided notes as a class. These are the guided notes I'm providing them with. It gives them a definition of an abbreviation at the top, and then it goes through the months, the days of the week, and then the titles. All right, so here are these for y'all. All right, does anyone know what an abbreviation is? All right, so an abbreviation is a shortened form of a word or phrase. So it could be like street, and it would be capital S-T period, or like road, and it would be a capital R-D period. All right, all right, so let's go to our guided notes today. Let me grab something to wipe the board off with really quick. Alrighty, so we're going to start off with our months today. So, what do we think January might be? Capital J-A-N period. Can you say that again? Capital J-A-N period. Good job. Alright, so the abbreviation for January is going to be capital J-A, lowercase a-n period. Alright, so go ahead and fill out that blank on y'all's notes. Alrighty. Does anyone want to try February? Yes. Okay, what do y'all think February might be? Capital F, lowercase e, lowercase b, period. Very good. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, what do we think March is going to be? Let's hear from someone else today. Um, is it capital M, A, R, period? Yes. Make sure you have that period in there then to make an abbreviation. Alrighty. So for April, it's going to be capital A, P, R, period. Has everyone had a chance to write that down? Yeah. Yeah. All right, now this next one might be a tricky one. All right, does May have an abbreviation? No. No, that's right. So there's no abbreviation. So when you're writing that out, it's just going to be M-A-Y like normal. So y'all can just put a line through that one or write no abbreviation. But y'all need to make sure that's on there because that might be a tricky question on the test. Alrighty, June. Um, J U N period. Very good. Alrighty. So now we're going to go on to days of the week. So I'll go through the first one with y'all. So, we'll start with Monday. So, Monday is going to be capital M-O-N, period. Alrighty. Alright, next is Tuesday. Does anyone want to try and do this one? Alrighty. So, it's going to be capital T. U E S period. So that's a bit longer than some of the other ones. Alrighty. Next up is going to be Wednesday. So does anyone want to try this one or? Yes. What do you think it might be? Capital W, lowercase e, lowercase e, period. 
Very good, very good. So everyone get that down on their papers. Alrighty. Alrighty, now we're gonna go on to titles. So our first one on our guided notes is Mr. So, think of some of the teachers here when you're writing out teachers' names. Mr. Cundiff, Mr. Dodgen. How do you abbreviate Mr.? Capital M-R period. Alrighty. So, everyone get that down on their notes. Alrighty. And then the next one we have is going to be Mrs. So, this is for like the Mary teachers. Think of Miss Bryant. Capital M R S period. Very good. All right, so this one's not on our notes, but there's two different forms for the females. So, if you're a single lady and you're not married, what is the abbreviation going to be for this one? Y'all know? Capital M, lowercase s, period. Very good. Alrighty. If y'all want to add that one to the bottom of y'all's notes, y'all can. It might come up some point. Just another one to know. Alrighty. So now we finished our guided notes for the day. So I want y'all to go ahead and glue those into y'all's interactive notebooks to keep a hold of those. And then once y'all get through with that, I'm going to get y'all to pair up with someone and I want y'all to study for about five minutes y'all's abbreviations before we go on to our next activity for the day. All right, so now that y'all have had time to go over y'all's guided notes with partners, I'm going to go ahead and let's get started on a book it. So everyone get out their Chromebooks and go to bookit.com slash backslash play. And then let me go ahead and get one started for y'all. First, we're going to do a crypto hack since that seems to be one of y'all's favorite ways. Alrighty, so are y'all ready for the code? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, so the code is 885297. So Blookit is going to look like this when they're trying to join and I'll be the host and they'll have their own screen showing the computer. Alright, so now that everyone's in, I'm going to go ahead and hit start. Alright, so y'all have seven minutes to finish this, so and let's see who wins. Think about all y'all's notes that we've done today, and just use your skills. Alright, so now that we've gotten some practice on our abbreviations today through Book It, we're going to go through an abbreviation sort. I've cut one out just for y'all to see what it looks like, but I'm going to give y'all y'all sorts, and y'all are going to go with a partner and cut them out, and then y'all are going to go through the sort. If y'all need any help, y'all can raise y'all's hands, and I'll come walk around and be assisting y'all. So let me grab the papers for y'all. Here are the sorts. And then I want y'all to grab some scissors out of the little boxes on y'all's desk and just get to cutting those out. Alrighty, so y'all did very good on y'all sword and the other activities today in class. Now y'all can go on and do some independent practice, whether that's Quizlet or y'all can continue working on the sorts to get good with that. But y'all did very good today, guys.